for this next match. It's Mohammed Akbar, Mohammed the Great. Whoa. He's six feet tall, 220 pounds from Persia against Heyo. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, 6'3", 280, Glen Falls, New York. We take you now to Chris Graham. He's standing by with Mohammed Akbar. Muhammad Akbar, your big match with Hacksaw Jim Duggan in a moment. But first, we have some footage from September 17th, AWE, Night of the Superstars, and we want to get your reaction. You should hate me because I have more money in the bank thanks to your addiction to my country's oil. And you should hate me because I speak better English than all of you. Muhammad Akbar, AWE fans want to know, what is your beef with America? My beef with America and to the American people and to the Western civilization is this. For 30 years, you have demagogued our society, my society. You have plundered and raped our natural resources for your own benefit. <laughs> and that ends tonight. You see, Chris Graham, I am Mohammed Akbar, which the literal translation of which means Mohammed the Great. I am known by my people as the great because I am the champion of our cause. And AWE is my platform to begin rectifying all of the crimes that you have committed against me, against my people, and against our culture. And that starts tonight with the biggest representation of your society, the Hall of Fame infidel known as Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Hall of Famer indeed, and a lot of experience, and of course, he carries the American flag, old glory, with him to the ring. Yes, he does. He does carry the old glory with him. But after tonight, Chris Graham, I make a promise that anybody who's seeing my image broadcast through the satellites in space, anybody who hears the sound of my voice, I make you this promise. At the end of tonight, Hacksaw Jim Duggan will be lying on his back, Old Glory will be draped across his body, and you will know that Akbar means the great. Let's go. Gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing to you first, from the land of Persia, Mohammed Akbar! You know, this guy doesn't have his history right. It's not that we're raping their country's resources and taking all their oil. We're giving them billions and trillions of dollars for that oil. Their problem is the king's keeping it all and the people want it. That's their problem. That's a great history lesson. I'm not sure anybody would disagree, Dutch. Well, on this guy's history lesson, his family, that's how he's living here now. His family uh, has been in the oil business for, for decades, and they're supporting him. Ladies and, the and gentlemen. What have you been reading, Larry? Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies. And gentlemen, my name is Mohammed Akbar. Didn't he say that before? And here are three reasons why you will remember my name. I've heard this before. This is good. This is good, and the fans Number are going to like it. Number one, I'm tan and I'm jacked. Okay. Me too. Number two. Number two. I have enough money in the bank thanks to your addiction to my oil that I could bail out Wall Street and the European Union. That's quite a bit of money. I don't think he's got enough for and Europe. Number three. And Camo. Come out here, and you can 
and you can talk about Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, all you want. But understand, I'm not a walk in the park for no man. But it's a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing when you start talking about the flag of the United States of America. Well, it's about time I found somebody stood up for it. As long as there's air in Hacksaw Jim Duggan's lungs, as long as there's blood pumping through my heart, I'll tear the flag, the flag of the United States of America. Oh, USA! Wave that flag, Hacksaw, and all these people can chant USA, but it's not going to make a difference. Tonight, I am I the leader of Hacksaw. I can't hear you, can't hear you but understand this, folks, Colin. Here comes Hacksaw. Oh. Look out. Here he comes. Akbar was warned. Well, he and got fired up Glen in the back. Falls, New York, Hacksaw. Jim Duggan! You know what they say? Darwinian man, boys! Although well-behaved is merely a gorilla well-shaved. I give you Hexaw, Jim Duggan. Talk about a perfect Cro-Magnon man. He's always had fists like bowling balls. Beat the snot out of this kid that looks like King Tut. And Akbar is going to regret calling oh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan an infidel. You don't want to switch punches with Hacksaw. Up there. Whoa. High back body drop touch. Oh, up. And he's close to us now. And I don't want to be here. I don't want you here either. You know, that wasn't what I meant. I meant right here in this area. Akbar has accused Hacksaw Jim Duggan of blind patriotism, calls him an infidel, and is getting his comeuppance now. To his credit, Akbar, Mohammed the Great, goes right back into the ring. And Larry, like you said, you should not exchange uh, fists with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. No, many, I've seen many men over many years make that mistake. The guy's in the Andrethal. You haven't know, heard him with punching him out. Akbar is ticked off with the AWE brass. They say matching him up with Duggan at Knights of uh, Night of Legends is evidence of their anti-Middle Eastern racism. That's the accusation from Muhammad Ali. He said anti-Middle Eastern yes. racism. I said, can you be specific? Do you know his background, this Akbar kid? He wouldn't I, tell me. Well, I spoke to him early. You know, he went to Princeton. I did you know, know he started inter international law. I did and he graduated. Know. So he's an American. What's his issue? What's his issue? His issue is even though he can come to the United States, get the greatest education in the world, and take our money, still, he told me that the culture and the morals of America disgust him. That's what he said. Well, you can't argue with that. <laughs> Do you see the Jersey Shore? <laughs> now that That's hurt. what he's been watching. He calls AWE his platform to remedy the crimes against my people. What crimes in particular, he would not say. Akbar now going for the no, not for the cover, but for the choke. And he's going to get at least three or four seconds. You can't choke Hacksaw either, isn't it? He's too thick. The guy's nothing but bone and muscle. You really got, I mean, to beat Hacksaw, you really got to outslick him. And you got to wear him down until oh. he gets tired. Because the man's just a walking megalith. Hacksaw has been a professional wrestler Dutch for 32 years. I know you have followed much of that career. Well, that's quite a long time. But let me say one thing about uh, Duggan. He's fought the biggest names too, buddy. Look at those fists, they're like bowling balls. He sure has. He says he's proudly carried the American flag in 20 different countries he around has. the world. He has, he has. And he's known around the world, so. But I think Akbar, Akbar, he really is something that uh, Duggan hates. He hates anybody to diss the U.S. And I don't blame him because the United States, we get we get hammered all the time, all over the world. And Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I respect his ability and his desire to stand up for the United States. I do. When time comes for food and for aid and for military help, who do they come to? And Duggan, unfortunately, yeah, and who do they never pay back? That's us. a good point too. Not as fast as he wants. Why don't you guys go to Congress? You can straighten it out. Y'all make know, better sense those bold Congress, I should be president. We'll straighten this out. Akbar 
It looks like he tried to connect there and goes for the one, goes for the two, a kick out there by Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Duggan has said many of his opponents are younger, faster and stronger, but you cannot measure the heart of the Hacksaw. They're not tougher. Yeah, I'm telling you, this, this kid's just gonna get frustrated if he keeps punching Hacksaw, but he's not gonna hurt him. Didn't even get a one count You're there. gonna have to out-slick him. You know, Dutch, this kid, you know, for all the uh, the anti-American talk, he is technically very sound. The reverse chin lock there on the big man. No, just, I'm Duggan. not taking anything from his athletic ability. He's a great athlete. I just just because I don't agree with his politics doesn't mean he's not good in the ring. Yeah, he. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't vote for him for city council. Well, Akbar, and I think he'd raise my taxes. Akbar says that he's got better education because his, where his family came from, he speaks better English. He uses our gasoline to put money in no, his he pocket. uses our system against us, basically, is what right, he does. Right. And it seems to be working, Larry. Well, we're stupid enough to let him. That's that input. Well, you don't have to get mad about it, Larry. I'm mad every time. Gas should be under a dollar. Used to be. Should be. So much more to come here on the Night of Legends. Well, who is Kevin Nash's partner going to be? That's going to be the big question. It was supposed to be History. Marvin Ward. Marvin Ward got his shoulder hurt, his arm hurt. He can't make it. <coughs> and Kevin Nash said, I'm going to pick a partner. We're going to find out very soon. I asked Kevin Nash. He wouldn't even tell me. Here it goes. This could be it. This could be it. One, two, and three. Hey, got him. Hey, you can't. Bar is out of here. And they say there's no missing link. I think there was once one. Right there. No, he's just found. There he is. Oh, I mean literally a missing oh, link. Oh, whatever. Right. I'm just trying to follow up on what you're saying. A great celebration for the great American. Hey, oh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Akbar threatened that he was going to cover him with old glory. I don't think that's going to be the case. Well, a big win for Hacksaw. And one thing about Hacksaw, he backed up what he said he was going to do. He was going to come in there to Mohammed Akbar, which means great. I know that now. And see, you I can't believe this. That was crooked and officiating. Hey. The referee counted too fast. I can't believe this happened. I have money. I'm jacked. I can't believe I lost my pay-per-view debut. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, you haven't seen the last of Mohammed Akbar. Blah, 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 blah. Can you translate Blah, 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 How about blah, that? blah, blah. I'm Bye telling line. you, he's right out of this the cave. This is the land of the free him. because it's the home of the brave. You We're sold out here in Virginia, and we're live everywhere around the world on pay-per-view. Well, the fans here, they're up. They're excited. They're into this match. Oh, they're into this shoulder match. We haven't even hit the main event yet. Extraordinary action here from awesome wrestling entertainment. Here we go. We'll take a look at it again, gentlemen. Didn't I take it? Here's what I was talking about before. Mohammed trying to outpower Hacksaw. You can't do it. He's Neanderthal. Uh, punches are a waste of time. He's got hands like bowling balls. And look at him. He's just a, a, a pile of human rock. And bam! Down goes King Tut, and it's over. And that's the three count. And the celebration begins for Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Yeah, get him a banana. 